Hi everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Micah and this channel is dedicated to learning, teaching, and discussing everything about cybersecurity. So today I'm going to do a quick overview or a quick run through of this print nightmare again room. Uh, just recently did the print nightmare room. So this is, you know, pretty much a sequel to that. Um, and this is again part of the Hackerween series of challenges released by Try Hack Me. So I've already started the machine. Um, you can read through this. I'm not going to do any of this, but um, and I'm not going to use um, the full event log view either. I did this a different way. But I will show you now. Let's see. Let's go ahead and show split screen. And I will wait for this to open and come back. Oh, actually, there it is. Cool. So let's pop this in, into full screen. And let's minimize that. So the first question is, the user downloaded a zip file. What was the zip file saved as? And so before we really get started, we need to create a, cus uh, a few custom filters in Event Viewer. Uh, like I said, I didn't use the recommended app for this. I just did the old fashioned way because that's how I did it in the first room. So, so we're gonna be filtering on a few different event IDs. Um, let's see. So here in the first room, print nightmare, part of the Windows event logs uh, detection aspect was the this uh, print service, SMB client, and Sysmon uh, in the Windows system event IDs. So for the print service is 316, 808, 811. For the SMB client is 31017. For the Windows system is 7031. And for Sysmon, it is 311, 23, 26. And then we have three additional ones for registry event IDs, which is 12, 13, and 14. And I found this just by Googling um, Sysmon event IDs for registry events. And I will link all of this stuff in the description. Okay, so the user downloaded a zip file. What was the zip file saved as? And again, like I just said, we're gonna create a uh, custom view and we're gonna filter on those event IDs that I specified just a second ago. So applications and service logs, uh, Microsoft, Windows, we're looking for print service again. So print service, uh, Sysmon, and SMB client. And then we also want um, here at the top the system, the system event or event logs. So let me pull up those event IDs. So we have three sixteen, um, eight oh eight, eight eleven. 70, 31, 3, 11, 23, 26, 12, 13, and 14. Hit OK. And we just call this print nightmare. And then one more for the registry events. I just want to keep them separated for ease of uh, viewing. So just Sysmon. In 12, 13, 14, window, Microsoft Windows. Scroll down to the bottom here. Uh, let's see, Sysmon. And then 12, 13, 14 for the registry events. All right, perfect. So we're looking for the zip file from, que from question number one. So event ID 11, I believe, is file creation events. For Sysmon, if this will open. Uh, oh my goodness, it didn't save anything, I just did. Okay, I got them right here. Let me just copy and paste. It's always something, right? Then 7031. 3, 11, 23, and 26. All right, there we go. So we're looking for a zip file. And event ID 11, C, file created. And we have our first answer, I believe. And this is kind of slow, but um, levelup.zip is the file that we're looking for. And it's downloaded to this user B Murphy's uh, desktop or downloads folder. 
Submit, and that is the correct answer. All right, so next question. What is the full path to the exploit the user executed? And we can find this by searching more um, event IDs for this user's uh, for this user here, user B Murphy. Copy that, hit find, find next. So we have some PS script policy tests. I believe that's um, related to app locker. So just business as usual stuff. And wow, right there we see a, a suspicious DLL file on his um, in his app data. So that's going to be a question or answer to a question further on here. But here we have the target file name for the actual um, exploit that was downloaded. So we can copy that. Uh, was the full path to the exploit the user executed? Whoops, oh, let's keep going. Oh, I think I just need the nightmare. Nope. Was the full path to exploit? Uh, I guess they're looking for the DLL. It's not really specific. Oh, look. Okay. Here we go. So the image is PowerShell. We're executing, or the user has executed some PowerShell file. And I'm pretty sure this is correct. Yep. Okay. What was the temp location the malicious DLL was saved to? So we just saw recently that it was nightmare.dll. Let's search on that. And let's restart the search. And our first um, search returns this uh, this Windows System 32 spool drivers x64 nightmare blah, blah blah DLL. So that is the location of the temp. No, that's not the temp, is it? No, we're looking for a temp fo uh, folder. Um, okay, look, here we go. See how easy, pretty sure that's it. Yep, yeah, okay, what was the loca full location the DLL loads from? And I believe that was the path that we found initially. So yeah, load plugin failed, it failed, um, it was attempted, I guess, or I think it was successful, but um, we'll get to that in a second. But here is the path where it was loaded from. What is the primary registry path associated with this attack? So in the initial print nightmare room, the print spooler service um, is detailed as uh, spool sv.exe. So my initial thought was to um, search for registry events, including that that uh, service name, sv.exe. And let's see here. There it is. So this is the image, our process image, and it's being loaded. Um, or our target object is this registry entry right here. Um, so I don't think we need the entire thing. Just probably just right here. Let's try that. And that's the correct answer. So, all right, let me catch my breath for a second. I told you I was going to make this really fast because the previous uh, video was very long. So. This is to make up for that. So what was the PID for the process that would have been blocked from loading a non-Microsoft signed binary? So uh, I'm not sure how anybody else did this, but um, I realized that this is a proc, um, procmon dump. So I just opened it with notepad or wordpad, and then I searched for that spool sv.exe because it should show us the PID because um, this is just a dump of all the process activity on the host at the time of the dump. And uh, that is working as magic. So I'll stop here and wait for it to finish. All right, so we're back. Uh, that This dump file has finally opened. So I'm going to control F, search for spool sv.exe, if I can spell, and then hit find next. Uh, I really messed that up. Hold on. And I guess this must be a large file because it took forever to open and it's taking forever to load. So uh, just bear with me for a second here. And I might have to cut this video and reopen this file. Um, oh, never mind. Okay, cool. Let's see, spool, 
not soul. Man, it is so slow. And we see our PID of 2600. So let's try that. Whoop. I'll just type it in. And that is correct. So I guess the hint was to um, wherever this is, which I didn't do. So there are multiple ways to skin a cat. Um, okay, but anyways, next question. So I did have to use a hint to figure this out. So the hint right here is use proc dot to search for PowerShell history file. I couldn't get proc dot to open or to work correctly. So I just went ahead and searched for the uh, PowerShell process history using the um, using this um, URL path here. So if we search on that, open File Explorer, and re remember it's the user. Um, see what was his name again? B Murphy. So remember it was his desktop. So we're gonna search using his uh, using this URL path or this path with his uh, or her username. Um, hold on, let's see. Really, we can just stop being lazy and go to it directly, I guess. B. Murphy, and it was app data. Hmm, okay. Let's see, view. Uh, looking for hidden, hidden files. There it is. or here it is hidden items app data not sure why I couldn't path out to that uh, what was the path again it was Microsoft Windows PowerShell I don't see any of that <laughs> okay give me one second let's see huh local maybe Microsoft, Windows, PowerShell, Windows, PowerShell. Sometimes you have to do it manually, you know. Okay, this is not working. You know what? Um, there's a PowerShell command here that shows us the... Uh, the correct path for this system. So let's just do that. Do I have to run this as, I run this as administrator maybe? Oh, set, re no, get read, that's, sorry. It's get PS reline option. Okay, perfect. So here we go. Let's copy this. And I believe it was B Murphy. Awesome. And here's their console history. So first question was, what is the username of a newly created local admin account? Uh, so invoke nightmare new user backup. So the new user is named backup. Was the password for this user? Uh, this god awful string here looks like the password. What two commands did the user execute to cover their tracks? So we have a remove dir, removing or deleting a directory, uh, cv 2021-1675 main, and then comma, or no space after the comma. Okay, cool. And then we have delete command here for this level up directory. See if that works. Boom. And we're done. That was a speed run. I know. Um, I'm going to link, you know, this stuff in the description. But like I said, I want to do a quick overview of this room since I was not uh, able to have a brief video the last time. So just for uh, brevity's sake. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, uh, subscribe if you so please. It really helps the channel out. I appreciate you guys and uh, have a great Halloween. Thanks. See you and stay safe.